breaking news. Yeah. It was their crime of passion to steal others' fashion. America's favorite bald criminal cross-dresser is back in the news. No, not Jesse. <laughs> Sam Brinton, the Lex Luthor of non-binary government hacks, was busted once again for allegedly stealing yet another suitcase full of clothes. Who needs that many suitcases? I only need 12. <laughs> this time, a Houston-based fashion designer claims she lost a bag of custom-made dresses at a D.C. airport back in 2018. Finally, something that's not Mayor Pete's fault. <laughs> 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 All right, well, you'll never guess where the clothes turned up. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. I don't know how you got that picture. Close, but guess again. In a viral tweet, the designer said she spotted photos of Sam posing in her one-of-a-kind dress. Oh, my God. Houston-based fashion designer, we have a problem. <laughs> and it appears that Sam road-tested more than one poached piece from the bag showing up at various events wearing designs that bear a striking resemblance to the stolen dresses. <laughs> it's a move requiring a lot of balls. No, no matter how they tuck them. <laughs> that's it, that's it. The fashion designer reported it to police, and the FBI contacted her, but they haven't heard anything since giving them the information. Huh. But knowing Sam and airports, it won't be long before we get another baggage claim. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Jeff, if someone found your luggage, what would they find? Uh, just a ton of uh, really nice dresses like this with capes on them. <laughs> No, no, no. I actually, this is two segments in a row, dude. I feel very embarrassed about this. I've worked for NBC for so long. I thought this was a who wore it best set. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm a little embarrassed. I, I was going to go with the lady from Houston. All right. Just because I like ladies. All right. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. yeah. You got to go with what you know. Neither, yeah. neither one did it. Yeah. Neither one did it great, but... Yeah. Uh, One's way better looking. Mm. All right. So you like ladies on the streets and maybe freaks in the dresses? Is that what we're saying? No, no, no. I like just ladies. Oh. <laughs> Again, it's pretty simple. Huh? You got to go with what you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Joey. What would you say if you met this person? Because I feel like I would just go with, bruh, which is well, gender neutral, by the way. I, I spent a lot of time on this last night. So the, the side by side of one of the dresses, it, the patterns don't match up. And I looked and I realized it's because this is how you know this is a dude and not a it or a they or anything else. This is a dude. He put the dress on backwards and probably had no idea. Like I did the forensic analysis. Cause I'm telling you right now, if I put a dress on, you know, all my zippers are in the front. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's easy access, it's necessary. <laughs> that is a dude in lipstick. I don't care what it says about itself at any point in time. He doesn't even know how to put the dress on. And also, the balls on this guy to go steal a fashion designer's bag with a bunch of one-of-a-kinds on it, like, he had to pick that out on purpose. Yeah. I mean, I'll always use the correct pronouns. I'll say, they is <laughs> idiot. Like, <laughs> they, they is, a, did you see that psycho? Oh, Kat, they I is used, insane. I use yeah, the correct so pronoun, they, they know it or not. Judge, you're a judge. <laughs> 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 Have you ever seen a case like this in your court of law? <laughs> no, never. But you know what? This is this is a classic uh, Biden employee. Okay, this guy's <laughs> this guy. <laughs> is... They like 
that. Um, they like that one. Yeah. The guy is with, you know, the Department of Energy. Is that any surprise from the same department that wants all of us who can't afford it to buy an electric vehicle? But this guy, this is like his third or fourth suitcase, and they didn't want to let him go. I mean, first of all, wouldn't you fire him just for looking like an idiot? I mean, I, I, I just, okay, but I guess that's not a crime, but... That's not my well, courtroom. You're a judge. You can't fire him for that. Oh, <laughs> you don't know me, do you? <laughs> <laughs> my office is next to her. <laughs> yeah. A thousand percent wood. Yeah. Sometimes she just calls in different places. She doesn't work and fires people. <laughs> 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 they listen. I would. <laughs> Tyrus, I mean, how many more of these do you think there are? Oh, there's hundreds. <laughs> I think we're, we're all laughing here, but you realize he stalked this lady. He followed that's, her. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah, like, you know, yeah. Um, and then to get there. See, what my concern is, because why would somebody steal somebody else's clothes to hide their DNA? That's why I look at it. He's a, because now, it, no, for real, you don't, you don't, between, have you seen some of this dude's photos? Well, Unfortunately, yeah. Gutfeld forced us all to see him. Yeah. And... <laughs> He has pups and all this weird stuff he does. So, and if a lot of it is nefarious and seems to be, so if you're wearing other people's stuff, the DNA is all over the place, and you could literally somebody else could be blamed for your crime. Like I told you, you got scared about your My extensions because yeah. you don't know what, what that person did. What if yeah. they were a murderer? Yeah. So it's more than just stealing bags. Yeah. Of now clothes we know. And stuff. Maybe he's targeting women. Case. He's targeting women. Stealing their belongings. And I would just like to say, TSA always stops me when I have my luggage and asks me for my ID. Mm -hmm. yep. And I had one saying, where's Tyrus at? And I said, it's the T in the middle. May I go? Mm -hmm. So what the hell are we doing, airport security? They always stop me like, hey, sir, are you sure those are your legs? <laughs> Yeah, he's also stealing women's struggle. And, and you know? get, I, I know that some people who are criminals like to like keep trophies. Yep. <laughs> they like to wear trophies and post photos from the scene of the crime. He's like a villain. Idiot! He's like a villain when Batman's run out of <laughs> to arrest. It was like, <laughs> yeah. you know, the writer's are like, we need a new villain. Uh, yeah. How about a guy who steals women's dress, wears them backwards? <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.